Hi everybody! Welcome to another Sisters of Battle 6th Edition Codex. This time I'm talking about special rules. And first of all, sisters have a lot, a lot of special rules. A huge amount of special rules. And they stack on each other. Just, just making you just go <clears throat> on the other people. Let me, let me start with um, Warlord Traits, uh, Acts of Faith, War Hymns, and Armor of Faith. Those four things together are just an incredible combo in the Sisters Army. And then on top of that, you're going to stack Ecclesiarchal Relics that even just buff them in even more. Everything in the Sisters Codex is custom made for the Sisters just to make them stronger. So let's start with Armor of Faith. Armor of Faith gives all Sisters units a 6 plus invulnerable save. There are Warlord traits that make it 5 plus. There are war hymn traits that allow you to re-roll failed ones, but all sisters get a 6 plus save, including their vehicles like rhinos and immolators, get a 6 plus invulnerable save. In addition, it gives them adamantium will, which gives them a deny the witch roll of 5 plus. Yes, all sisters and their vehicles get a deny the witch roll of 5 plus. Now let's move on to Warlord Traits, okay? Almost there. Warlord Traits. This, get, let's see, well we start with Executioner of Heretics, which makes the Warlord fearless. Indomitable Belief. The Warlord and all models in the Warlord units, um... Have a shield of faith roll of 5 plus instead of 6 plus. <laughs> uh, pure of will. Reroll all failed deny the witch rolls, which as I said before, are at 5 plus, not 6 plus. Righteous rage. The warlord and the unit gets rage. Beacon of faith. All friendly models within 12 inches. Use the warlord's leadership for... Uh, acts of faith, leadership roles, anything that needs a leadership role, which basically means it's going to be a 9 or a 10. Inspiring Orator. All units within the 12 inches of the Warlord become stubborn. As you can see, it's all fitting together. It's going to be special rules stacked up on top of special rule on top of special rules. So many times when I listen to people, the rare people who talk about the sisters in any way, um, they just see one thing and they don't see how it's stacking up with all these others. Let's, let's go on to war hymns. This is going to come from, this is going to come from the Munistorum priestesses that you can add. That's going to be a HQ formation that you can take, which means it doesn't count as an HQ choice of up to five priests, priestesses, uh, independent characters you can add to a unit. Here's what else is going to do when you add to the, to the unit. It's going to give that unit hatred because uh, the priestess has zealot. So that makes the unit have hatred. What does that do? That means they re-roll all misses in the first round of assault. What else is it going to do? It means that the guy... Uh, has war hymns, and these war hymns basically give the unit either shred or reroll all armor saves. This can be cast every phase, not in every turn with a simple leadership check. Not psychic, no perils of the warp, just a leadership check. You roll a leadership check in the uh, shooting phase, you could give all the shooting weapons gain shred for that phase. You can then re-roll it again in the in the assault phase, and all the units there, boom, re-roll all failed armor saves, including invulnerable ones. Which goes back to the armor of faith with that six plus invulnerable, boom, that gets re-rolled every turn. Not to mention the three plus re-rolled every turn. Are you starting to see some toughness here? And the shred on the weapons. <clears throat> now, let's go on to two, 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 the Axe of Faith. That's going to be different with every single squad. So, for example, the Canonist. The Canonist gains the Passion. Now, all Axe of Faith now are one use only, so it's one use per game. However, all Priestesses 
can buy a Simulacris Imperialis, which does what? It allows them to use their Acts of Faith twice in a game instead of once. So once again, shows you how <laughs> you, you're going to be taking five priestesses automatically and attaching them to all your units. The Passion. If successful, all models in the Canisys' unit gains the Hatred special rule until the end of the current phase. There you go. Um, that's useful because you can't attach two independent characters, so usually you can't really put another. Uh, you can't. You can't put a priestess in the Canisys units. This basically gives them the zealot effect for one turn um the sororitas command squad gets its own special ability this is i'll go into that one later but basically their special ability now is they gain endless crusade what does that do <laughs> it basically gives them fleet crusader and move through cover until the end of the current phase. Which basically means they're charging just through anything. I, I believe Crusade allows them to roll a third die and take the highest when, when doing charge. So what else do we have? We have a battle conclave. Celestines. Hand of the Emperor. Um, they gain Furious Charge. Until for the end of the for the end of the phase, they gain furious charge, which can also again be stacked with all of those other ones. So that means if it has a, a priestess in it, they also have hate, and if they and if they go have a war, him cast that gives them, you know what I mean? Reroll all failed saves or shred, reroll all wounds. Are you seeing how this stacks up now? And then they can pop their. Uh, act of faith to give them furious charge in the same term. All of these things are going to be going on at the same time. Uh, Repentia, one of my favorites, gives them feel no pain. A three plus feel no pain until the end of the current phase. Mm. And they still get, the, of course, their six plus uh, shield of faith roll. Battle Sisters have a nice one, Light of the Emperor. Um, it gives them Preferred Enemy. So it's, it's like the hatred then for shooting. Uh, but, but, well, no, 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 because it stacks on it because one is a failed and the other is a one. Uh, for, forget it. It's still – the point is it's all stacking up on each other. It's all stacking up. By the time you really get to the phase where you're doing anything, it's all these benefits are stacking up on each other. <clears throat> Making them just re-roll hits, re-roll wounds, re-roll armor saves, and have four or five special abilities stacked up onto them at the same time. It's just, it's just brilliant how it works. So let's keep going. Dominions. What do they get? Holy Fusillade. Fusillade. Uh, so that means pff, all their shots ignore cover for that phase. Whatever it is they're shooting, it ignores cover for that phase. Uh, retributors. Divine Guidance. All weapons gain rending until the end of turn. That one is kind of like I said, uh, uh, I don't know why they did that. I guess it allows them to go without a without a, a priestess in it. Maybe it goes off into another unit because now this becomes their act of faith. But they already uh, the warhammer already can give them rending. So boom. Seraphim. Seraphim have two special abilities. Actually, they have the um, the Emperor's Deliverance if successful. Uh, all weapons gain shred until the end of the current phase. So that could be in their shooting or their assault phase. That means they can give themselves shred in the shooting phase. Now this is special for the Seraphim because the Seraphim, 
priestesses can't get jump packs. So they're never going to get really to use war hymns. So the seraphim have kind of their war hymns built in to automatically go off on. Them. They, what, what does that mean? Well, they got angelic village, visage, which allows them to uh, re-roll their invulnerable saves automatically for shield of faith. Boom. That's it. They just re-roll it automatically. <laughs> So it's, like I said, it's kind of like an auto, an auto war hymn. And imagine then you put the canonist in that when you, with a jump pack, and she gets the warlord trait that then makes that a five plus, and auto rerolled. And then this is also where it pops in and it gives them all shred, which would be another uh, war hymn. But now they're going to do that. And here's another cool thing you have to remember about the seraphim. You got to remember this. They have pistols pistols now i don't know if you remember how pistols changed in sixth edition but what it does is it allows the pistol to just be counted as two different weapons it's not twin linked so that means they each fire once and they've got these things the flamer pistol the uh melta pistol which mean and up to two of the units of seraphim can be upgraded with that so that means those pistols are each getting two shots. And you throw in these other special abilities like they have shred. Well, well, and, and, and can you see what I'm saying here? That's going to hurt people. So that's a lot of it. Uh, penitent engines, I don't believe they get one. Um, that covers all of the special rules of the sisters. You got to see how they fold on top of each other. I'm going to do another one later, which is going to talk about the relics of the sisters, which then even just helps it even more. Most of them just give them things like they automatically pass all war hymns and they automatically pass all all um, acts of faith within 12 inches of it. Just done. Just automatically. It's crazy, man, but you can see all of the different layers that they stack on each other. I know this video went a little bit wrong, but you got to understand it. I'm excited about them. I think more people should be playing them. I think you should be playing them. So please check out my next sister's video. See you next time.